up early with it, man. Um, taking a dookie, you feel me? I had to be working a few. I had to take a shower and then drive to work. It's 9 a.m. And I'm holding the camera sitting on the toilet, bro. Yeah. Hope you start your day off productive. If you got a nine to five or, you know what I'm saying, you want to be something, make sure you get up and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Make it count. Make your day do what it do. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired, bro. I had trouble going to sleep last night. I kept on waking up like every hour, bro. I went to sleep at two. Woke up at freaking four, five, seven, eight thirty, and then nine. But still gotta get this day started. About to take a shower. Hurry up, cause I gotta stop at Dunkin' Donuts too on the way to work. So we gonna make all that happen. But I'm, I'm freaking tired, bro. I see you when I get in the car. Fresh out of the shower, as you can see. I need to hurry up. I'm playing around, I'm playing games. It's already 9.25, I gotta be there by 10, and I gotta stop by Dunkin' Donuts. But listen, things happen, you feel me? Things happen, you gotta go with the flow, you gotta move with the flow. But listen, um, what am I gonna tell you? I'll talk to you when I get in the car. looking at dude like what is you really staring at But anyways, so what I wanted to talk to y'all about was, you know what I'm saying, on my way home last night from work, I was bumping some old music. And I was like, isn't it crazy how like music can bring back so many memories? Like just a song can bring you back to the exact year, the exact moment, what you was doing, like how you was living, like how you was feeling. Like music is like extremely powerful. And I've ever, I've always wondered like, do videos do that for people like you know what i'm saying like do youtube videos do that for people besides me because like they do it for me like when i go back and i watch like the old ddg videos that i used to watch yo bro why are these when i used to watch the old ddg videos i used to watch it bring me back to that 2017 ddg that 2016 ddg when YouTube was at its rise, you know what I'm saying? When YouTube was like crazy, when dudes was posting three, four times a day, like that was that was a crazy time for YouTube. So I was just wondering, like, does music do that for y'all as well? Like, does it bring you back 
to a point in time in your life when you was like doing something or you was feeling away or whatever. Cause I was listening to the Mad Drake last night. Like the whole entire Nothing Was The Same album, that's the greatest album of all time. That and Views are my two favorite albums of all time. And I was like wondering like, does it, does it, that's why. I was wondering why my car was driving funny. But um, yeah, I was just wondering that, you know what I'm saying? But I decided I'm not gonna stop at Dunkin' Donuts. I want to cut back on eating sausage, egg, and cheeses in the morning. I eat those every Mondays and Tuesdays. And, you know, bread is really, really fatty. I'm trying to lose weight, you know what I'm saying? Because I got, I gained a little weight. Y'all might not be able to tell because, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm skinny. But for me, I gained a little weight. All that fast food that I've been eating and everything that I've been doing is finally catching up to me, you know what I'm saying? So, I might forget it at this point. I'm about to just let it be out because it ain't, it ain't cooperating. The hoodie ain't cooperating. But yeah, it caught up to me, you know what I'm saying? Years and years of, of eating fast food. Well, two years of eating fast food and not being fit, fit the, uh, how, bro, I can't even speak. Being like uh, physical, physically active. That's the word. It's catching up to me. So I got me a little, little stomach, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably wouldn't even be able to tell if I was to show y'all. And you know, I done gained some little fat in my face. So, I'm about to start really working out to get this get this off me. Because I'm getting a little chubby, bro. I'm getting a little chubby. Definitely getting a little chubby. So, it's catching up to me. So, I said I'm about to uh, start eating right. And the main part of my main part of my diet was not eating until like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I swear. I don't care what nobody said, bro. I used to not eat until 3 in the afternoon, bro. I never used to eat in the morning. But then me going to work made me start eating because I'm up so early. But even when I was at school, I wouldn't eat until I had lunch. Like 11, 12 o'clock, I wouldn't eat. I would just be running off with no food all morning. So I think I want to go back to that. And I'm just being cautious on what I eat more. Like I try to stay away from McDonald's now. Like I haven't eaten McDonald's in a while. And if I do go to McDonald's, I just get the fries and that's it. Because, you know what I'm saying, that's the only thing that's really not so processed there. I mean, it's fries. It's potatoes cut. You throw them in some grease and you put a little salt on them. It ain't the healthiest thing, but it's better than, you know, a burger or a chicken sandwich from there. That's processed food. So, yeah, I just want to, I want to get right on my diet. I've been eating Chipotle and Subway a lot. I've been drinking a lot of water. That's all I really much drink, water and Gatorades. But even though Gatorades is really sugary, for me... I've never been like a, a daily, all day water drinker. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not good for me, but I, that's how I was. You know, I just drink whatever I wanted to drink. But um, water is definitely important. Water is definitely important. So I know for the people out there that's just be drinking juice and drinking, I'm telling you, water is important. I never noticed until I start drinking it. Like you feel a lot better. Your body feels a lot better. When you drink the right things, you eat the right things that's in your body. For your body. I said that's in your body. Because your body is made up of, I believe, like 90% water, if I'm not mistaken. So you need water. You know what I mean? So I don't know the exact calculation. So don't don't be like, oh my God, he doesn't know how much water is in his body. But I know it's a lot. Majority of your body is, is taken up of water. And you need water. And when you don't replenish that water, you know what I'm saying? Your body isn't getting the right amount of water to be supplied to you. And on top of all that, I got a weak immune system. So like, I don't know why I've never really been eating healthy. You know, when I have a weak immune system, like my immune system is weak. Somebody next to me could, could have a sore throat and breathe the same air as me. And now I have a sore throat. Like my immune system is weak. You know what I'm saying? I have no iron in my body. I get extremely cold extremely cold like when it's for most people you know it'd be like cold for them nah like especially like i've really noticed how cold i get being at my job seeing how like my co-workers like the temperature of the house and i'll be freezing like in the house with a hoodie on and everything freezing and they'll be like it's hot in here so like that's when i've noticed like you know my body temperature 
is crazy. My immune system is weak. So I just been trying to stay healthy and do the things I gotta do to get back to who I was. Like I said, I've been down. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, with the video that I'm posted today, which y'all gonna see this tomorrow. I've been I've been stressing, bro. You know what I mean? For the past year, it's, this past year has been not the not the best year for me. I put it that way. I done did a lot of stupid things. I done did some fucked up shit to people. You know what I'm saying? People that you know that don't deserve it. So moving forward, I'm just trying to be a better person in general, and I'm trying to work more. You know? Because this year I've I've never took a break off of uploading. But last year, well, I, I keep on saying this year, like this year just started, this year has been pretty good. But last year, like I took a break from uploading for like almost a month, two months, I think. Yeah, I think like two, three months I didn't upload a video on my main channel. So that's why I'm in this stump that I am in now. Didn't upload at all. Started losing subs. I still lose subs to this day on the main channel. Like a lot of, a lot of stuff was going on. And y'all gonna see that in today's video that I upload because I connected y'all, connected with y'all on the personal level. But yo, I've been going through it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to, you know, get my mental right, stay focused on my on my journey, you know what I'm saying? On my on my steps to get to where I want to get to. Because the worst thing you could ever do in your life is quit. There's nothing worse than quitting. I just want you to know that you can try and try and try. If I quit today, this is my thought always. If I quit today, tomorrow could have been my day. You know what I mean? If I quit vlogging, I quit making YouTube videos because it's not working right now. And I, I and I quit tonight at 8 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, the video that I could have filmed could have been the one that made me pop off. And I would have never known because I quit. So it's all about you. You just know what I'm saying? Never quit. Because all it takes for me, for what I want to do, is one video. That's all it takes is one video. And I'm right back where I need to be. It's a, it's a steady game. It's a steady pace. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta stay persistent. You gotta stay persistent even when the views aren't coming in. And that's what I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? It's an adjustment for me. And I know y'all probably tired of hearing the same thing over and over again that I've been preaching for the past couple days. But this is my truth. This is what I'm battling in my head every day. Battling the fact that I'm not where I want to be. Cause I'm getting older, you know what I'm saying? Time ain't time ain't going backwards, I'm getting older. So the more days that go by and I'm not where I wanna be, it makes me feel like, you know, sometimes it makes me feel like, am I doing the right thing? It never makes me feel like I'm not gonna make it. Don't ever get it twisted, cause I know, trust me, trust and believe me, I know I'm gonna make it. It just makes me wonder like, am I doing the right thing? As in, is this the right thing I need to be posting? Is this the right time I need to, like, am I posting enough? Like, those types of questions. But never in my life, ever, will I ever think that I'm not going to make it work. Because I'm going to make it work. Because I'm going to figure out a way. Even if I got to start over on a different channel or something. Trust me. I'm going to make it. And that's the energy that you got to have always. You always got to believe in yourself. Even when you feel down. Even when you feel like it's impossible. Because you are in control of what you can do. And if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else will. And I'm battling that too. Seeing how much people change up. You know how many people were on my body when I was booming? Dudes who I never even knew from, from my town. You know what I'm saying? From my hometown and everything. Yo, bro, we gotta get together, bro. We gotta get together. We gotta work. All the streets dudes that was growing up that was... You know, trying to influence everybody into getting into the streets. Everybody who always used to make fun of other, other just the good dude, like the dude who just didn't want to do nothing that was, that wasn't gonna make him a productive person. A person, because I was never a, oh, I want to smoke some weed type person, or I want to go steal from somebody, I want to go steal from the store. Or, I never was that type of person growing up. I always was like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to smoke weed. Nah, I work towards what I wanted. I used to mow lawns. You know what I'm saying? To get money. I used to do everything I had to do to get money. Or I used to gamble people for money. Yes, gambling isn't the most legal thing, but I used to take these drug dealers' money. I used to play basketball against the drug dealers at the basketball court, shot for shot. If I make this shot, I get $10. If I miss it, you get $10. We go back and forth, you know what I'm saying? It's basically like if I make it, then he has to go. If he makes it, then I gotta go. 
whoever misses it got to pay money. You know what I'm saying? And then if I if I miss and he makes it after I miss, then I got to pay him $10. You know what I'm saying? So I used to do stuff like that. I used to go to the basketball court, take all the drug dealers' money. Give me it all. I used to walk home every day with at least at least $50 in my pocket at the age of fucking 15, 16. That's what I was doing to get money when I didn't have money. Because I, I didn't believe in selling drugs. I didn't believe in stealing from people. I didn't believe in none of that. Because I don't get you nowhere. So I made sure I found a way to have some type of money in my pocket always. Even if that meant me doing what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Selling something. Or, you know? Because it was important to me to not go down that road. Because I got my own personal reasons. I got personal people in my life that I know that don't went down that road. And I see where it brings them. So... I stay true to that, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's my little rant for the morning. 14 minute rant. It takes me some time. You see how long it takes me to get to work, but I'm more I'm more than on time, especially because I didn't stop at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm more than on time. But I'm coming on here to to, to let y'all know some of my goals. Again, you know what I'm saying I'm setting some goals for myself. My first goal for myself by I say by the beginning of the summer, so maybe by like June, Juneish, July. August, whatever, you know, in the summertime, definitely gonna have a thousand subscribers on this channel, no doubt about it. I know exactly how to get a thousand subscribers, like, it's not that hard for me, but I do need to find that fine balance of time for me to, you know, not stress myself out because right now I do not need to be stressed. Like, I do not need to be stressed. When I get stressed, I really start like tripping out, like, I get headaches. I can't sleep at night. You know I'm saying I start, I start like distancing myself from people. I don't want to be around nobody when I start, when I start like really, really, really getting in that zone. I don't care for much. You know what I mean? I don't care to talk to people. I don't care to answer people's phone calls when people are going through things that they're going through that they used to listen to me for. You know what I mean? I really get in the zone where I'm just zoned in, which is a good and bad thing. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 it's good for me. Because I get all so zoned in. That's all I think about. But when you have, and this is why I've, I've understood why people who do what I do, move to to places where other people are doing what they're doing. Because people don't relate to you. They don't understand when you're talking to them. They don't talk back. They don't really know what to say because they don't do what you do. So when I'm in my zone. And all I'm, with, all I'm constantly thinking about is YouTube videos. The people who I'm talking to don't understand that because they don't make YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? So me sitting there talking to people who don't make YouTube videos doesn't do anything for me because they don't do YouTube videos. So I'm sitting here like, yo, you think this is a good idea? People get tired of hearing about stuff that they don't care about. You know, a lot of people don't care about YouTube like how I do. Only people who care is the people who's watching and, and 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 me and other YouTubers. So that's why I've noticed like a lot of YouTubers would try to f find other YouTube friends and move to where YouTube people are. And I've had my YouTube friends that I've had. You know what I'm saying? I had my people that I was around, but things just don't work out. And I notice how people move when things switch up. And that's one thing about me. I don't switch up no matter what you at. You know what I'm saying? That's why I've, I've always stuck with people. I personally like to rock, work with people who had less than me because they had that different fire in their belt. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that you've seen around me, if you've been an OG for a while, you've been here since day one, you know that I've worked with people who had way less than what I had. And I never, ever looked at them any less than what I had because they were more hungrier than me. Once you start to get your, your results that you've been working so hard for, you do start to let go a little bit. You do start to get a little comfortable in what you're doing. You do start to see things differently and, and take a step back and and post less and, and start trying to post quality over quantity and, and start focusing on other things when you get those views. Because you feel like you're finally getting what you've been working for and you can finally let up. But I've learned being around people like that 
they don't allow you to let up because they see what you want and now they want what you want. And I don't care about people passing me, but best believe I don't want nobody to pass me because I don't work my ass off. So I want to get to where I need to get to to keep on maintaining what I need to do. And I and trust me, man, listen, trust me. I don't, I want everybody around me to eat. And that's what I stress like day in and day out to all the people who come around me that I, I meet throughout this journey. Pass me. I want you to do better than me. I want nothing but success for you. I, I, I want you to get to that next level. I want you to be up here. You know what I'm saying? I want you to be getting views like me. I never not want somebody to get what they what they want. The only thing about me is that that, that fuels my fire. Because once I see you working, I see your traction, I see you gaining. Oh yeah, best believe I'm on my ass. I'm on your ass. I'm on your ass. I'm telling you, I'm on your ass because I, there's no way. There's no way. That you're gonna outwork me. There's no way you're gonna outwork me. It's, 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 for me, it's a it's a competition. For me, at the end of the day, you think you're gonna outwork me? No. Nah. There's no way. And that's and that's just how I am. And it, yeah, this is not a sport because we could all. Everybody could watch everybody. It doesn't mean that because they got more than me, they won't watch me. Nah, that's not how YouTube works. It's not basketball. You gotta be the greatest of all time. But I want to be the greatest of all time. I want to be the best YouTuber that I could ever be in the world. I want to be so big, so big. Like I want to be bigger than Mr. Beast. And a lot of people won't have the courage to say shit like that because they feel like they can't. But I know I have the ability to be bigger than everybody on YouTube. Believe me or don't believe me, it doesn't make a difference. Because I will prove you wrong. Trust and believe me. I will be a big YouTuber. It just takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time for YouTube to pick up. It's, a, it's an algorithm game. It's a system. This is not something where you could pay your way through. It's not something you can force your way through because I've learned forcing your way through with the things that I was doing before that was working, but they weren't allowing you guys to connect with me, connect with me on a, on a different level, which is it allows people to to really want to know your story and love everything that you're posting. See, what I was doing before didn't allow y'all to connect with me because it was like you were just clicking because of what the title was and what was going on in the sequence of events, but you didn't really care. You cared about me more than you cared about the female that was on my YouTube channel, but you didn't really care about what was going on with me inside mentally and, and how my day was. You came for one thing and one, on, one thing only, and that was to see what the video was and i've noticed that from the very beginning because of the retention like the audio the audience uh views like you know like the what is it called watch time like how long y'all watch the video for if the video didn't show what was going on in the first minute at 45 seconds y'all would click off immediately and i keep on saying y'all like this is y'all this is a whole different channel but i'm just speaking on what i'm feeling you know what i mean Y'all, people will click off. If you wasn't showing what they wanted to see in the first minute, they would click off. But I'm about to, I'm telling you, I'm about to figure it all out. I'm about to work my way up. Because if that's what they want to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it to it. I need, you need, these are the three things you need on YouTube. And then I'm going to get off and I'll talk to y'all once I get out of work, whatever. Whatever way I figure out the way to talk to y'all because I'm about to go to work. But you need watch time so you need people to watch your videos for a long time so like say you post a 10 minute video you want people to watch 60 percent of your video because that's when youtube really pushes your video so say you post a, a eight minute video you want people to watch five minutes of it so that the, the viewership will go up you know people more people want to watch it youtube's like oh people are watching this video damn near all the way through let's push this video out to more people so they'll push it they'll put it out there and they'll start getting recommended on the videos that's doing the same concept that you're doing then next is clickbait so like basically click rate when people see your youtube video on their timeline are they clicking it like are they clicking it how fast are they clicking it and then when they're clicking it how long they're staying when they're clicking it so thumbnails is important and then your title your title is everything on youtube your title is everything and plus more. It's it's more important than anything that you could possibly do. Anything. Anything in this world. But I'm going to stop rambling. I've been talking for a while. I ain't been really talking about nothing. 
I'm here at work. I got to punch in and in like five minutes, I'm just going to chill back, relax, and um, enjoy myself before I got to go in here. But I want to say I appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching me and watching this little vlog that's going on. I'm probably going to continue it a little bit when I get out. Vlog a little bit on the way home, too. But call these car talk. We could call these car talks or something. Okay. Let me know a title down below that y'all will y'all rock with that we can do. So every time I'm in the car and I'm talking to y'all, we could car talks or something like that. Car talks with Prince or something. Because that's when I like vlogging the most. I don't like I don't like talking and connecting with people in front of people. Cause I feel like I don't want to say the things I want to say. But when I'm alone with y'all, it just it's, it's kind of weird, but. That's a whole nother conversation. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. I appreciate y'all. Go do something productive, and I'll see y'all when I'm done. Fresh out of work, feeling good, feeling great. Happy to be out of there, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice day outside. So I think I might go get my car washed. For one, I'm gonna check the weather in a little bit after I go home, or maybe when I stop recording. But I didn't want to make the video just all about me ranting earlier. My main goal of this video was to uh basically like talk about how working a nine to five and being a youtuber works you know what i'm saying tips for anybody who's up and coming and want to you know proceed youtube and and try to try to tackle anything in your life you got to find that fine balance you know what i mean and you got to find that time in your day to do what you dream of and to do what you need to do now a job is what you need you know what i'm saying because if things don't work out you do need a backup plan and you know things don't always work out as planned doesn't mean that it would never happen but the time frame that you want things to happen might not happen in the way that you want them to and it's important to have a job so that in that time you can still be making money most people do have the guts and balls to be able to quit their jobs you know and, and proceed youtube full time or proceed anything that you want to do this is just not related to youtube if you want to be a rapper or actor or singer whatever you know anything that's in the line of being your own entrepreneur or being a businessman a businessman or a businesswoman requires you to find time throughout your day and taking those extra hours and those extra strides to be the person that you want to be uh, i'm just going to mainly talk about youtube standpoint i'm going to tell you how my day or my day consists of so basically on mondays and tuesdays like you, like today i work a nine to five basically for me is the 10 to 6. I wake up at 9 a.m. like I did, go to work. While I'm at work, I'm constantly thinking of ideas. Now, for me, I'm, I'm always writing stuff in my notes. And, you know, I'm always scrolling down YouTube to see what's trending and see what's going on on YouTube. Oh, my eyes calling me right now as we speak. Hello? That's you? Yeah. Are you alright? Yeah, I just got out of work. Oh, because you got another thing, you stressed out. I mean, yeah, of course. What's wrong? She was just checking up on me. Because I put that video that y'all had watched up. Saying I was stressed. When I mean, when I, when I say stress, I want to reiterate it too. I don't want to like make people seem like, oh, like I'm losing my mind. I'm always stressed. Like, you know? battling with the fact that I feel like you know I need to be doing more or I'm not doing enough or why is this not working or this not working so she was calling to check up on me but like I was saying though so my day consists of me waking up pretty much every day, every day throughout the week besides Wednesdays I wake up early right I gotta be to work by either 9 or 6 a.m. I gotta wake up so throughout the day I wake up I go to work while I'm at work I'm constantly always thinking about what I'm gonna do once I get home far as well as filming wise or what am I gonna do main channel wise right now my main channel videos are pretty much set up I don't really need to film any main channel videos I have them all lined up ready to go but I do want to start filming main channel videos that consist of different content than what I usually post to switch that narrative so that when a video blows up from what the, what y'all want to see or what those people want to see on the main channel they get adjusted to the new stuff that I want to do as well but that's a whole different chapter and that's a whole different conversation but i'm always thinking of videos to do once i get out of work i usually either go home and get on the game 
or now since I've been vlogging, I go home, plug my SD card in, and get straight to editing in this vlog channel because I usually end it around this time, like you know what I'm saying, around six, six, whatever. I start getting the vlog, and I end it so that I can edit it and have it ready for tomorrow. I filmed the day before, so that's why yesterday's video was like straight raw, uncut because I was doing it off the phone so that I could just upload it so I could have something to give y'all for today. But I edit off, I film off my camera and I put it on my computer and I edit it up and post it. And because these vlogs are a lot longer, I can't do what I was doing in Atlanta editing off my phone because these vlogs be like an hour to 30 minutes, 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Straight talking to y'all. So I always try to find time throughout the day to do this. And if I see something pop up, I'm gonna start doing reactions, you know? I could, I could easily, bro, I'm telling you, people don't understand, like, I know what it takes, but, see, see, I'm going to tell you this, when you don't have no core fan base, the people that are subscribed to you don't care for what you post yet, you don't have a, 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 a true fan base, you can post whatever you want on YouTube, when I tell you you can post whatever, like, that's why I love this channel so much, I can post whatever I want, whatever. I want. I could post me sleeping in my car and y'all will watch it because y'all are here to watch me. Now, once you start get building like people who want to see one thing, because say I, say I get a viral video, even on this channel, say I get a viral video, right, of something that I really don't want to do, but I know I'll get a lot of views. So, so for example, my main channel, I did the video, let's do it in the shower, right? That video got 2 million views. Now, I'm stuck in the sexual category on that channel because I blew up off of something that was extremely sexual and they loved it and it got massive views and I gained massive subscribers off of it. So when they know me for one thing and they seen the videos I was posting that got me to where I am, now they're hooked. So now they're like, hey, I'm ready for more sexual videos, which puts me in a box, a box that I don't want to be in. So that's why I'm grinding on this channel because I know that, hey, if I get a viral video off a vlog, well, guess what? You're gonna expect more vlogs. And guess what I'm gonna bring you? More vlogs, you get what I'm saying? So, that's why I'm about to start going really hard on this channel. I know I haven't been giving the good, 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 crazy transitions or giving you the best quality videos, but I'm trying to find the time to really do that because my day does consist of nothing but working and i don't know how to iterate like me working and bringing entertaining content out of that if that makes sense because i'm driving home you know what i mean i'm gonna be driving home and then i'm gonna go home and pretty much edit this up and post it and just chill for the rest of the day because i've been working all day long so i'm gonna try to find a way even if that means i gotta take some extra time into what i'm doing but i don't want to make this channel just to be like strictly always raw and uncut i do want to add some type of spice to it to find a way where y'all like oh this is this is lit like you know what i mean because i really don't edit these videos that good like i just put them in this place that i need cut out the things that i don't want to put in there and i keep it at that so you know that's pretty much what it consists of though but so if you got some dreams that you're chasing just find time there's 24 hours in a day so there's always time even if that means that you work from 8 a.m. in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. Guess what? You got time. That means that you literally can go home and get at least two hours worth of work done and still be able to get some good amount of sleep. You know what I'm saying? Always, always find time for what you really want to do. Do what you have to do, but find time for the things that you want to do. It's so important. It's very important. So, I don't know. I'm just rambling. But I'm definitely gonna improve on this. I keep on saying that, but it's hard, man. When you, when you doing the things that I'm doing, like I, I edit four to five hours on that main channel, on the main channel video. So it's like, when I get to these and I'm posting these, I'm like, bro, like I don't, I don't feel like sitting here and editing for another hour or two on this, you know. And I don't want a video like off of this channel that's edited up all crazy to blow up, and then now all you guys expect is edited videos because i definitely don't want that either so i'm trying to find a way to make it look good without adding extra editing so that means like me doing little things like when i get into my car like transitions like if the phone if you if you got me on my main channel you'll understand a lot more but like if the phone is is um i mean if the camera's over there and it's placed up there 
and I'm like walking to my car and you see me walking to the car and then the camera's inside the car and you see me get in the car. Who the fuck is beeping at me? Like you must have lost your mind. Let me, I, I need to chill cause I do get, I do get a little road rage and I need to chill cause people nowadays, man, listen, people don't care anymore. Nowadays people shoot you for, for arguing with them on the road and I don't got time to be arguing with nobody, but I don't understand what they was beeping for. The dude in front of me, let me chill. Anyways, I don't, I don't want to consist of editing like my videos, like how I gotta edit on my main channel. Cause those take lots and lots and lots and lots of time out of my day. And I don't want that. Especially for these. Like I said, I don't wanna blow up off of purely edited videos. And then when it's time for me to to post an uncut and I'm raw video, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want to watch because it's not how the other one was. Cause that that is something I I'm stuck in on my main channel too. Like it's like even though it might not be true, when I post a video that I don't edit as well as I post the other videos, and then I see it does bad, I'm like, damn, is it because I didn't edit it up so good that people lost interest? Cause that's the main thing on YouTube too. Watch time, man. Listen. It's hard to get y'all to stay tuned in for a long time, bro. I, that's the hardest thing I've ever had to go through on YouTube is watch time. Getting people to watch longer than a minute, bro. People don't watch for a long time on YouTube. People watch for a minute and 30 seconds and will click off. It is something that all YouTubers struggle with. I don't care if you got a million subscribers. I just seen King Sid post his his um thing on his channel, on his um, Instagram. Like, uh, showing his watch time. Everything was green, but... Bro, his watch time varies from one minute to three minutes, bro. That's literally what I have on this channel. Like, it's not crazy. It's not what you think it is. It's hard as hell to get people to watch you for a long time, bro. It is the hardest thing to do on YouTube. I swear to you. Because people's attention spans are so long. And TikTok is not helping that at all. TikTok is, doing, is, is making it worse, bro. TikTok is literally making it worse because people are watching max what? You can max put a minute and 30, I think, on TikTok. Max. And people don't even watch those fully because I know I don't. So think about that. You can watch max a minute and 30 on TikTok and you come over to YouTube, which is my watch time on my main channel is a minute and 45 seconds. That's when people click off. Bro, that's crazy. Crazy, bro. Freaking crazy. But enough rambling. I'm a little hungry, but not that much. So I probably won't get nothing so there. <sighs> but I'm home, man. I'm home. I'm happy I'm home. It's a good day of work, you know. I made some money, so that matters. And I'm being productive, so that matters. I do wanna, so these are my, also before I get off here, I'm gonna just let y'all know something I do wanna do. I do wanna start streaming. I do, I do wanna stream. But I wanna stream on Twitch. I don't wanna stream on YouTube. Just because I know my main channel, they don't care. I, I've tried it. I got 30 something thousand on the other channel. They don't even stay. Like, they'll come and they'll leave. So, I'm not even going to try it on there. I don't know if I should try it on here. Because y'all loyal and I know y'all watch pretty much anything I do. And that will help bring traction to the channel if I do long streams. And just keep them up. Because it's the second channel at the end of the day. Or do I stream on Twitch and just stick to Twitch and whoever wants to come over and follow me on Twitch. We do that. But that would mean that I gotta get a complete setup. I don't gotta get a complete, complete setup, but I do gotta be able to show y'all what I'm doing. But on Xbox, you could stream directly to Twitch off your Xbox. And I could just bring up the chat on my computer, get a camera, and do that the simple way. Or I can go and get a new computer, trade this computer in that I have, and yeah. 
get up to date, get OBS and get all that good stuff and, and you know, like the streaming, the capture cards and all that different types of stuff to be able to stream, but I don't know. I've always wanted to stream. I've always wanted to do that, but. Literally, look at my cousin talking. Niggas better get on. And she gonna be mad, cause this is what I do. Once I get home, I get on. I mean, I get on the game, but then I edit up these videos. And her and my homie Bull be like, bruh, it'd be funny hearing you, especially Bull. Bull be like, yo, it'd be funny hearing you edit yourself because I'm gonna go watch the videos and I'll be watching them. So it's like I watched it twice. Shout out to my man Bull, yo. It's crazy because he was literally one of y'all. He was subscribed to the channel and I, you know what I'm saying? I, I was playing the game. Y'all already know the whole story, but shout out to my man's Bull. But that's what I'm saying. I want to stream because my chat, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Listen. If you know who Aiden is, then then you gonna understand what I'm saying. Shout out to Aiden. No 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 discredit to Aiden, bro, because he been doing his thing. I've been doing what Aiden been doing in Xbox chats for years, bro. I can't lie to you, like for real. I've been doing that for so long. Like I, it's just funny. I'm not I'm not gay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all clearly know I'm not gay. It's just funny, bro. Like edgy. Edgy content, I mean, I said edgy content. Edgy humor is funny as hell, bro. Like, it's just, it's funny. Because you pushing a boundary and, like, it makes people uncomfortable. It's just a form of, of being a comedian, bro. Like, Kevin Hart pushes boundaries that people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just funny to me. So, I'll be, like, going on there and I'll be saying gay shit to my homies in the party. Like, that's just what we do. That's what people do on the game in general, bro. Like, you, you go in a Call of Duty lobby, I promise to God, there's going to be somebody in there Italian saying, can you fuck me? I swear to God. It's funny as hell, bro. I don't care what nobody say, bro. That shit is that shit is hilarious, bro. You get on the mic and you hear some white kid in his fucking mom's basement talking about some fuck me, Prince Carter. That shit is hilarious, bro. That shit is hilarious, bro. I'm telling you. It's the funniest shit ever. And all my Xbox dudes and all my PlayStation dudes, everybody who plays video games, you already know what I'm talking about. It's always somebody in there acting gay. And nine times, out of, nine times out of ten, that dude be the one who got his girlfriend sitting right next to him. It's just how the game is, bro. It's funny. Get on the game and you just let loose and you have fun and you enjoy yourself. And that's how I, how I have fun. You know what I'm saying? I, I always make my people that's in my party. People in my party always have a good time. I promise you that. You can ask every single body in my parties that be in my games with me. They always have a good time because it's one thing to play the game, but it's one thing to be entertained while playing the game, having fun and talking and communicating and all those good things. But I need to go my side because I got to render this video and it's going to take some time because it's a long one. It might be like 45 minutes, whatever the case may be. Okay, I'm going to go in the house like this. I'm going to keep recording. So I got to see what, what happened to my mom's car. And all that good stuff. I probably will cut it because... She probably to say something. My mom has never came already. I, I don't think y'all, if you don't got me on Instagram, I don't think you've ever seen what my mom looked like. And that's why I want to be on the vlog channel too, bro. Because it's like stuff like that. Like y'all don't know what my mom looks like. Y'all don't know I have a cat or a dog. Y'all don't know none of that. So that's why your boy is on the vlog channel. So I can start showing y'all stuff like that on a regular. Showing y'all what my day consists of. On my street, which y'all will never know my street name, and I'm barely, I'm probably gonna cut it off as soon as I get to the door or get close. I gotta park up the street more to get to my goddamn house, bro. And I'm cutting this off. Back home, yeah, I'm I said back home, I'm inside. I got an app on my phone that allows me to click the button, turn my light on, you feel me? I'm saying you could change the color of it. Y'all see that? See that? You can change the color of it. So that's dope, you feel me? But yeah, Michelle talking that shit. Talking about some get on the game, get on the game. Get on the game. But um Yeah, I make sure that y'all don't ever see where I'm where I'm at when I'm near. 
especially where I live at. Just because to some people, you know, I'm like, you know, be like, oh, you're not that big to be thinking people are gonna show up to your house. Well, for your information, I've took plenty of pictures with people still to this day. I took a picture not too long ago, maybe what a week before I had left. I was in Milford Mall, and a kid has said he watched my videos and wanted to take a picture with me. So that's for one. For two, I get recognized in public all the time. People always say, always say to me, um, hey, don't you do YouTube? So that's for two. And then three, which is never know. I can blow up later and then people go watch my old videos, which happened to me before. I blew up and then all my old videos start taking off. And when they take off, that means a whole lot of people that you don't even know on a personal level, like how I know y'all, are gonna see my content. And guess what? If I up here showing where I live, people are gonna start showing up to where I live. And that's one thing about me. I like my privacy. I like to be noticed, don't get me wrong, but showing up at my crib, walking outside and you seeing me and because you waiting on my street or something. Man, listen, it's some weirdos up there, bro. So I rock with y'all from the far. From the far. Yo, listen, Xbox. What's going on, bro? Why does Xbox still have batteries, bro? Like, we going to next gen and we still got batteries on the Xbox, bro. Like, make it make sense, bro. Gotta do this, gotta recharge it. Shit, dumb. It's dumb as hell. Don't understand that at all. Be so many generations. That's one thing PlayStation do got an upper hand on us about. There's no bad. It's the dumbest thing ever. I get it though because Xbox probably got some some partnership program with a battery company like Duracell that they I think they do really have a, a partnership deal where they get the percentage. Not knowing, knowing Bill Gates, he probably owned a portion of Duracell. So that's why he don't. He like, man, listen, y'all not putting no batteries in them joints. I mean, y'all not putting those packs in there. This man. Yo. What you doing? I'm always working, boy. I'm always working, kid. Come on, what you is? Getting recorded by you. 